If you are using Docker containers, from time to time it's a good idea to update them. In today's video we will cover on how to do just that. We'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for all of your support. If you want to support this channel too, you can do it by pressing the join button down below. But also, I want to thank everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. And now, let's get started with today's video. Every Docker container should be updated from time to time. But you also need to be careful on what you want to update and when. If you need to update the latest version, please check the release notes and after you made sure that there are no bugs or some breaking changes, you can do it by opening the putty. So let's start there. So how are we going to do the updates? If you've seen one of my previous videos, you know that I already covered installation of Watchtower. But if you did install Watchtower, you probably installed it, like I showed in the video, with default settings. And that can be an issue. The problem with the default settings of Watchtower is that it is monitoring every single Docker container you have installed. And if it sees any update, it will pull that update and install it. And yeah, I also had a lot of breaking changes. So what I did, I deinstalled Watchtower. But I still think that Watchtower is the easiest way on how to push the updates. So let me show you here how you can use Watchtower to pull specific update for a part of your system. So let's start typing the command sudo docker run rm v and we now have to map the docker socket. It will be var run docker sock and we need to map this with the var run docker sock this command will work for almost any linux operating system but since some versions of the linux keep the docker.sock somewhere else you have to tweak it you need to change the first part and locate where the docker sock is in case of the Synology, it is located in the folder var run. Now we have to type the name of the repository. It is container. Yes, it's contain RRR. And the name of the image we want to pull is Watchtower. But don't hit enter here, because if we would do it now, it would just download and install Watchtower. And as I said, Watchtower is a great tool, but it would automatically update all the containers. And that's not what we want to do. Instead, we want to add following command. Run once. And here we need to type in the name of the container that we want to update. And if we look name of the containers, you can see that I have here a container called my node red. And this is the container name. The image itself is called node red, node dash red. So in this command you have to match the name of the container, not the package that you download it. So let's try it with my node red. Let me quickly fix one typo. And let's press enter. If you did recently type your password, you will not be asked for it. If you didn't, you will be asked to enter password once again. As you can see here, I did run this, it did check for the node red latest version and it didn't find any. So let's see what would look if we do have update and need to update something. If we would run this command once again against the container called storage node. It would start, it would install additional container temporarily check if there is new version of storage node and then install it. It is currently stopping the container and recreating it from the latest version. And it's done. For me, this is the easiest way to manually install the updates. 
I have this command saved in a text file of frequently used commands, and when I need to run it, I just paste it and change the name of the Docker container I want to update. If you are running Synology, there is one additional way on how can you run this command. Let's go to Control Panel, Task Scheduler, and here we can create a new task. So how would we manually run the command without using putty? We can go here, press Create, Schedule Task, use a defined script, disable it, let's give it a name, Watchtower. User needs to be root, because it needs to run with the uh, elevated privilege. Schedule, let's put it, I will select that it only runs on Sunday. This is the command we used previously, and I'll use this command to run vault order. So if I would run this command now from command prompt, it would stop and update vault order. Vault warden. Press OK. Please make sure you are aware of consequences. Yes. And this is now saved here, but it is unticked. Let's put it here. Let's select the name of this command we just added, and let's press run. There is no new version of Vault Warder, so let's try this on Storage Exporter. Let's press OK. And let's once again press Run. If there is a new version, what we will see, we will see here that this StoreJ exporter has been stopped and the new version has been installed. But unfortunately, it looks like neither Vault Warden or StoreJ exporter have a new version, so nothing is installed. But after I did run this command, you may have noticed that a new Docker container popped up here and it went out pretty quick. This is the watchtower that was installed, started, did try to find the latest version and just closed after it couldn't find the newer version. And that's the way on how you can also run that script from within Synology without going to putty. If you want to update any other container, you just have to go here, press on edit, task settings, change the name to whatever your container is called, press OK, OK, and just run that script. And that's it. I did record this video because there were a lot of questions on how to update specific container. And yes, you can do it through the Docker UI in Synology, but I find running that command much more intuitive and you are sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. And this is it for this video. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always find me on the Discord server. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the new video updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.